Hey guys. So super excited today. I received a package in the mail and it's always so fun to receive packages in the mail. But if you remember in our seed vlog, <laughs> seed ordering vlog, that uh, we obviously ordered some seeds and guess what? They came. So I'm super excited to show you guys. So here we go. The package. Oh dear. I think I have a problem. My friend Sarah, she has kind of been with me on this journey of like starting this garden and um, buying all the things and I've asked her about different varieties and uh, she's a florist, a really amazing florist. Go check her out at roseandlaurelmn.com. And so she's been helping me. And um, at, at one point, she just told me that I had a problem, <laughs> that I was ordering way too many flowers. And um, she's probably right. But my attitude is that you cannot have too many flowers. So this is something that I am in love with and want to continue to cultivate. So in my mind, there is uh, never too many flowers. So that's just my that's just my opinion on it. But these are not just flower seeds. They are also some seeds for our vegetable garden, which I'm super excited about. Okay, these seeds are from Eden Brothers, which is where I got a lot of my, oh, I got my peonies there that are already planted. I got all of my tulips there, which are already planted. And then I think I ordered a few other things that will be coming in the spring, but it's so cute. They always send these little, um, These little packets of seeds, they're just a little annual mix. Marigolds, Cosmos, Cornflowers, and Zinnias. Uh, I gave this, this one of these little packets to my niece for Christmas. Um, so they always send these just as a thank you for your order, which is really cute. All right. Oh, sweet peas. Oh my goodness. Oh no, these aren't sweet peas. These are actual peas. These are the Sugar Daddy Peas. Organic, pure, certified organic. So I hate peas. Uh, comment below if you are a fellow pea hater. Um, I love vegetables, I'm a vegetarian. I love vegetables, um, except for peas. Peas will, I, it, I'm like the princess in the pea, where if I, I can taste a pea, even if there's one pea in the dish, I will taste the pea. It was so funny, my husband, he was doing these protein shakes and he would, well, he would put, um, you know, like protein powder, banana, but he would put mixed vegetables in it and there's peas in there and then he wanted me to try it, not telling me what was in there and I tried a little bit and I was like, are there peas in here? And of course there were, so never doing that again. Okay, we have organic pea seeds. Those are for my mother. Um, my parents will be helping. They uh, hopefully will be living with us in the summer and they will be helping in the garden. They already helped this fall. They were with us for a couple of weeks in October and uh, hopefully they will be helping us again in the garden in the in the summer and uh, she requested peas. That's the only reason they will pass the threshold of my garden is for my mother. Arugula seeds. I adore arugula. If you've never tried arugula, it's a lettuce, but it's it's a really tender lettuce and it's peppery. So my favorite arugula salad recipe is arugula a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, and some Parmesan cheese, like shaved Parmesan, and then uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's it, it's so good. Wow, that's a lot of arugula seeds. So, <laughs> see that? Oh my goodness, can't see it. 
there you go. That's a lot of arugula seeds. So, um, yeah, pots and pots of arugula apparently. But that'll be awesome because you eat, I mean, you eat tons of arugula at once. So that'll be great. Chive, chive again. Um, so cute. I love that their seed packets, not all of them, oh, this, this is the last one actually. Their seed packets are see-through so you can see all the seeds. These are chives, so that looks like a boatload of chives, right? I researched a trick. Um, we have already planted our raspberries for the season. We actually have a raspberry patch and then we have some raspberries in the garden. And raspberries, we had raspberries at our old residence as well. And we had Japanese beetles uh, just devour the leaves. Now they didn't touch the um, fruit, but I hear that they may do something to the fruit and I won't tell you what, but I've heard that chives, leeks, dill, garlic are natural deterrents for bugs in general. So, and lavender as well. So I, um, in a later video, I'll show you that kind of plan, but I plan to put like lavender around my roses, help with the aphids, and then I'm gonna plant chives, love chives, uh, on their own. Again, a really good recipe for chives is, I had this at a local um, restaurant back in the day, was tons of chives, matchstick apples, so like chop, chop apples into matchsticks, and manchego cheese. Manchego cheese is my favorite cheese of all time. And that with a little, I think it has a little bit of, uh, of olive oil and probably an acidic thing too, maybe a little lemon. Uh, so, 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 so good. Super simple too. But we're gonna use chives also for deterrence for insects. So I'm gonna plant this around, not harvest it, um, probably gonna keep it from going to seed, but we're gonna plant this around our other vegetables that have problems with Japanese beetles. Little tidbit. Pumpkin seeds. If you watched the seed buying video, you'll learn that my son wanted pumpkins. I don't know that he knows what pumpkins are, but it'll be great. We have places where we could just put some pumpkins in and that would be great. So pumpkins. Onions, got some onion seeds, so these little packets, I think it was because these are the smallest one, and then those other bigger ones, I bought like an ounce. Yeah, I think that's what the difference is. So, we got some onions. Organic small red cherry tomatoes. I think the seed buying, I don't think actually you guys were involved in this seed buying, but the other seed buying, um, I wasn't able to get the organic small cherry tomatoes, and my son actually loves uh, small cherry tomatoes cut up. So I think this will be perfect. And then we can just actually snack on them in the garden. So love that. I used to do that as a kid and uh, it was wonderful. My mom would do it with peas and apples. All right, this is cucumbers. We got the burpless cucumbers, which are great. And uh, so that'll be, we go through so many cucumbers, you guys. It's it's ridiculous. My son loves eating cucumbers as well. Uh, carrot seeds. These are the purple ones. So I realized that we actually don't eat a lot of carrots. Uh, carrots are, yeah, my husband hates carrots. Um, I love them. I, I love them cooked, I should say. So like in a roast, obviously I don't eat roast, but, um, but that'll be good for like, oh, soups stock like soup stock and stuff my grandma does the soup stock um with and she cans it so it's like carrots and onions and celery you know your base and then she cans that base in like a broth um so you can add anything you want to that so you just take that can and it's it's canned so it's it lasts for you know for a long time Put that down in your root cellar and then she, you just take it off 
dump it in and then put a bunch of ingredients. If you want chicken and dumpling soup, you do that, or if you want kind of anything. So it's a good base, which is awesome. <gasps> kale. I love kale. Okay, this has turned into like a little recipe show. I should do some recipes. I will do some recipes. That's another uh, thing I want to do is show you guys how to convert recipes. But kale seeds. Um, this is the curled kale. I love this. Um, there's a couple different versions of kale. There's like the dino kale, which actually this, I'm not sure which one this is, um, which is more your flat, kind of flat. And then there's the really curly kale, which I love. So curly kale, uh, I've done where you do kale chips. And so you cut it up and put it on a sheet of paper, drizzle it with olive oil, put some garlic, um, some salt, and then you put them in the oven and um, until they get really crispy and then they're just like chips. Awesome, really great for you too. Put it in smoothies, so that'll be, I wish I'd gotten an ounce of this, but I think I got this in our seed, uh, seed buying. So I think I have some stuff somewhere else. Ooh, these are organic. These are, ooh, these are more kale, good. These I think are the dino kale. Um, which will be great to have a couple of different varieties and just eat. I have, I have a great kale recipe, kale salad recipe, but it's more for summer, so you'll probably see that in the summer. Lettuce seeds, lettuce, super excited about that. Um, Cimarron, not sure what kind that was, but that would be fun. Brandy, okay. <sighs> Thank goodness. So in our seed buying, I remember that I was unable to get the brandy wine, like the big juicy tomatoes in organic. And I think I got them just kind of in regular, um, not GMO, but um, kind of a hybrid. And these are the organic brandy wine. So super excited that I got those. Love, 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 love tomatoes. Peppers. My son eats peppers, we'll eat peppers every day. He loves peppers so much. And so this is the, the yellow pepper. Um, I believe I got a couple different types of peppers, um, but this is great. Ooh, and then the tigerella, the tigerella. <laughs> I think my son picked these out. They look like little tiger stripes, so he likes those. Fun to, you know, fun to have your basics and then add, you know, add fun different varieties and see what you like. These are uh, carrot, organic carrot, red cord. So, cool, cool. Leeks, leeks. I love leeks. Again, should have gotten an ounce of this because leeks, we are going to plant leeks near the raspberries. I keep looking out here because this is, this is where I can see the, I can see our garden from here. Um, leeks in our garden to deter. These are, leeks are in the onion family. So they give off that smell that, um, you know, insects and deer and things, uh, bunnies don't really like. So, I'm super excited about this. I'll probably have to get more leeks because I love leeks too. Leek and potato soup. It is a staple in Scotch Irish uh, yeah, heritage. So love to love to do that. I have a again. It's recipe time. I have an amazing recipe for a soup. It it starts out as a cauliflower soup. It's vegan. Um, a vegan cauliflower soup and it is phenomenal by itself and I was adding like a few potatoes to it and so it turned out to be like a cauliflower potato soup and then I added broccoli to it and a cauliflower potato broccoli soup uh, super versatile and it is it's so good so I'll have to share that but put some leeks in it Ooh, some more lettuce seeds. So this lettuce is the, looks like the tricolor lettuce, like your red, reddish lettuce, which is super fun to add to other lettuce. 
this one some onion seeds so these are the white onion seeds I did get a couple different onions I believe I got some green onions some white onions some red onions so love to have an ice cream oh. watermelon this is definitely my son picked these out because he loves watermelon he loves watermelon I think he still asks for watermelon even though we like tell him it's a it's a summer fruit, organic watermelon seeds. So the only thing about this will be they are not seedless. Um, but that's great too, because we can save the seeds for next year if they're good. So. I remember growing up, we did do one, we did watermelon one year, and I think it was probably the best tasting watermelon I'm a fiend for watermelon. I will eat my weight in watermelon. I love it so much. Oh, I can't really see it, but it's heirloom multicolored tomatoes. I gotta do some rearranging because we have a lot of tomatoes. It's so fun. So fun. All right, last but not least, sweet peppers so these are more pepper peppers which is awesome so, that is my first seed haul I'm so excited so uh, I have been talking with my mom about getting together and putting together our whole plan so we you know I brought you through how we picked out seeds we kind of organized our garden area determined what we wanted to plant and then we went out and bought seeds obviously you know i have more seeds than than i would have plants um but now it's gonna be the germination of these seeds so we're gonna start them indoors and that means that we'll be putting them in trays under lights on on the little uh, seedling warming mats and with all these seeds and i have a I have another one coming, so there'll be an additional video to this. Um, we need some organization. We need to be able to label everything so that we know <laughs> what's coming up and what it is and where it goes and and how long certain ones take to germinate or you know when to start them. Some things like lettuce really like um, the coolness, so a lot of those are direct sow, which means they're directly you put them directly into the earth outside and other ones you start indoors it's called indirect and you start them indoors first and then you transplant them outside when uh, the fear of frost has passed so i have already written down for my area when the first frost is in the fall and then when the last frost in the spring is, you know, determined to be. I will have a hoop house this year, um, fingers crossed. So I might be able to start some things a little bit earlier uh, outside, but only in pots. So I won't be really putting them into the soil. But uh, so all that organization, we're going to do some spreadsheets all all have you guys join us as we do that and uh, it's gonna be a project but it's gonna be so so fun so the next time is um, these were all the vegetables I did order a bunch of flowers so I'm super excited for you guys to to see that upcoming next and uh, a few more vegetables on the horizon as well so uh, yeah I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. It's so fun to do these videos. And uh, if you liked these videos, subscribe and comment below. I would love to hear your comments, um, questions, advice, uh, all sorts of things. So thanks so much.